Hey, what's up guys? Anton here back again with another video and today I'm going to show you how I lay style my Air Jordan 1 highs. And you all ready? Let's go! So before we proceed, I would like to thank you all for stopping by and for all of the new viewers, uh, make sure to hit the subscribe button as it helps the channel to grow. And also, uh, this video is only to show you my personal preference, so this is not the standard or this is not how all the Jordan ones should be laced up, but this is just my personal preference. So yeah, let me know also your personal preference in the comment section below. So first of all, I use my standard Air Jordan 1 pollen laces and as you can see here, we use the pollen ones. And what we need to do is first, of course, we will go first through the first lace hole. So what we're going to do is we'll go outside these holes. So not inside, not inside of it, but we'll go outside for both sides. Okay, so here's how it's done. Okay, and then once we go through inside, we'll just pull it up until it becomes flat, okay? And make sure your laces are flat. So make sure it doesn't twist like this. So if it twists, I'll just make a little adjustments. So what I do is I pull each side, pull there to make it not super tight, but at least it's flat and it wiggles uh, a little much but not too snug okay so don't suffocate your feet like this but yeah so we're just gonna use this for a casual use so next one we go to the second lace hole right here so instead of going outside we're gonna go inside so where should what laces should come first this one or this one well it's up to you so it you will begin here but for me, my personal preference is I use this first, so we're gonna go inside. So yeah, let's pull it over. And then make sure not to uh, overstretch your laces so that it's not a snug feel. And then next one is the other side. So as you can see, I made this first and then so it's left over right so that's my pattern but it's up to you it depends on your style whether you want to go right over left or left over right so it depends on this second lace hole and then after that every lace hole I forgot sorry uh, make sure to make your laces even so to check it just Pull out your shoelaces, so in my case, it's not that even, but what I'm going to do is I'll pull this side, so it depends on the laces, if you need to adjust this, uh, just pull it out, if you need to adjust this, just pull it, or you can pull this to make it loose. And then next thing is we're going to do with the third lace hole, and then I'll fast forward this video until we reach up this lace hole okay okay so now we re already reach the sixth hole and it's all flat so make sure it's flat so if it's twisted like this for example like that i may just twist your lace hole and just make an adjustment just pull and then pull again from outside okay so yeah so with this one we're going through inside of this foam right here so that your tongue doesn't go through sideways like that so that it holds perfectly and it doesn't slide to the sides that much 
Okay, let's put it inside. And then, like that. So same thing goes, just like what we did a while ago with these other laces or with these other lace holes. So we maintain the same pattern here. Okay. And yeah, there we go. So let's make sure it's flat and then let's check again if the laces are even. So in my case, it's already even. Okay guys, so as we go through the different lace styles, so first style is the clean bow tie style. So as we can see here, it's clean. Um, let's just make a little adjustment here, but not too much snug, okay? So what I meant by clean is you have a clean look here, so it's not too loosey and it's flat and it's it's good for the eyes. But yeah, that's that's ju that's that's just my term, okay? So what we're going to do is as we do with this other lace hose we did inside, but from this time we're going to do outside. So just like this going to do outside and then let's go also for the other side let's go outside so once we reach this let's just make our regular bow tie so there we go and yeah there we go and then let's check these guys on feet Okay, so for the second one is, I call it the Lucy Goosey. Well, I think you already know, some of you already know what the Lucy Goosey style is. So what I'm going to do is, I'll untie this one and remove these laces. Okay, so what we're going to do is, instead of going outside, we're gonna go inside of the shoe. So it depends on you if you want to do it in the second to the last hole or in this hole but sometimes i do it here but it depends on the laces okay so in these laces i have the standard 70 inch laces but if i go with 63 inches laces that's the time i go until to the second to the last lace hole but with my condition we go to the last lace hole okay so just like that so we go through inside and since it's loosey-goosey let's just loose the laces a little bit so we just pull it from the middle or from the inside to make it loose okay so what we're going to do is like this and then pull and pull it again and pull it again and then yeah, let's pull also the panels of the shoe. So as you can see there, it's much loose, but most of the people prefer this style because you don't have to lace your shoes and what you're going to do is put your foot inside and then it's easy to put inside and easy to, yeah, to remove your feet. So again guys, let's, let's check these out on feet and let me know what you think. And lastly, uh, we go to the midway laces. So you, some of you are also familiar with this one, but yeah, for those of you who are not, I'll show it to you, okay? And what we're going to do first is we're going to tighten this up a little bit. So once it becomes flat and clean, so that's how we end up tightening the laces. Oh, it twisted, so yeah, let's adjust it like that. Then let's adjust it more. Okay. So once we reach there, let's try to remove this. So I don't do this much, but some of you did. But yeah, as we reach this seventh lace hole, uh, if I'm mistaken. 
So what we're going to do is we're just going to do a regular bow tie. So yeah, th there we go. Let's tie it. And yeah, we can do another bow tie so that it doesn't look too flappy or too big. So the midway laces is good for your ankles if you want your ankles to breathe. And yeah, if you want not too much tight for your ankles. But yeah, it's also also looks clean for me. So let's check this guy's on feet and let me know what you think. So yeah, that's pretty much it guys. So we have the three laces or three lace style rather. So the first one is the bow tie or clean bow tie rather. And then the second one is the loosey goosey. And the third one is the midway laces. So for me, my personal favorite is the clean bow tie. So not just it looks clean, but as I said a while ago, it gives you the partial lockdown support or partial lockdown for your feet so that it doesn't wobble too much inside. How about you guys? Uh, let me know what you think about the three ways or three different way ways how I lace my Jordan ones. So there you have it guys. Thank you very much for stopping by and watching this video and let me know what you guys think about these and have a great one guys. I'm out. Peace.